It's only three days since the church celebrated the Feast of the Ascension, and today the church finds itself on the threshold of something new. We are invited on the seventh Sunday of Easter to enter a period of waiting once more. Between the Ascension and Pentecost, we are in an in-between time. As human beings, we live much of our lives in between, in between two events or stages of life. We live our lives in the in-betweenness of birth and death. Around us is a broken and hurting physical world. This pandemic itself is a long in-between time for us and we are not sure what exactly we are waiting for. When we are in those in-between times, we find ourselves anxious to move to new visions and yet eager to hold on to what has been familiar and important to us in the past. It is possible to treat this day as a preemptive Pentecost but to do so misses one of the important lessons of life. Living in the in-between can be frustrating and perplexing, but it also has the potential to break us open as we seek creative and meaningful opportunities for ministry and life. What we do not need in this liminal time is to live in fantasies, like the disciples in the Ascension narrative. In the beginning of the Ascension story, they are obsessed with a kingdom in the world, and at the end of the story, they are looking up to the sky. We could be too worldly or too heavenly in our fantasies about future. These disciples were rightly reminded by Jesus that they had a task to get on with. In our Gospel reading today, from John chapter 17, we find Jesus in a liminal time. He finds himself at the door of a significant change that will make any human being anxious and sleepless. In the uncertainty, Jesus does not run away from the liminal space between his ministry and his crucifixion. Instead, he enters into that space and reflects on the current state of the unknown. Jesus provides us with some idea of how to properly inhabit the space in between. Inhabiting the space in between the answers is hard, but it is also most formative. Learning to live with the paradoxes of life and faith takes spiritual maturity. In this Gospel text, we find Jesus looking back at his time with the disciples and his work in the world in certain places in the passage. And in other places, he speaks about reunification with the Father and receiving once again the glory that was his from beyond time. He sums up all his memories, reflections and dreams in that great high priestly prayer. Jesus' discourse gives us this beautiful proclamation of his relationship with God the Father, with his disciples, and with the whole world. We will do well if we are able to reflect on these relationships as we discern God's future. Liminal time is about embracing paradoxes. Jesus says that the world has hated those who received him because 
they do not belong to the world. But it's worth asking the question, can one belong to both this world and the next? It seems a weird thing to suggest that those who belong to Jesus are citizens of both heaven and earth. And yet this is in keeping with the gospel message too. We live in the already and the not yet of God's kingdom. At the end of this passage, Jesus begins to talk about the need to be sanctified. Sanctified is simply a word that means to be set apart. It is in this already and the not yet of God's kingdom that Jesus asks that we be set apart for God's work in the world, just as he has already set himself apart and is about to set himself apart through the cross. The purpose of the gospel message is not that we would withdraw from society or from this world in order to be set apart, but that in living our lives faithful and true to the good news, we would speak truth, create justice and offer mercy. Liminal time is not a time of withdrawal, but one of engagement and action. We are in this world, but we abide in Christ. The word used in this chapter for abide can also be translated as remain. Jesus is talking with his disciples about a trauma that is about to occur and is preparing his disciples to lose their friend in a horrific death on a cross. When he asked them to remain, he might also be implying the power of persisting in the light of the event of death and its uncertain future. Remain, persist, survive. We can't give up because God does not give up on us. In this liminal time, we need to reflect on the purpose of our existence too. Jesus says, as you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. We are sent. Ascension is a challenge for mission. The physical absence of the master from among his disciples bestows specific responsibilities to them now. The historical mission of Jesus of Nazareth is over. Now is the turn of his followers to continue his work in this divided and chaotic world. Between the present and the future, there is an unknown length to be filled with our life and work. We should be willing to carry on that mission rather than living in fantasies. This in-between time is a time for action, a time to pray, a time to hope and a time to witness. We have no time to waste. May God help us to hear that call afresh again. Amen.